So, dudes, I have a question for you. Is Doc better than Rook? Is Rook better than Doc? Does it matter? Why did I put Doc higher on my tier list than Rook? This video answers why. Jordan White, top white. Call. Nice shot, Greg. We're doing a giveaway for a PS4 Pro 500 million edition. Translucent blue case with a two terabyte hard drive made in limited quantities. If you want to participate in the giveaway, check out the link in the description. Rook has been one of my go-to operators since Siege came out. The MP5's combination of low recoil and high fire rate make it one of the easier guns to use, thanks to the one-shot headshot mechanic, so it's no secret that the legend of the spawn peaking Doc is so potent. But there are a number of reasons why, in a comp setting, I believe Doc is more powerful, even if I personally prefer playing Rook just because it's what I'm used to. Doc and Rook are an interesting case study to me because they represent the difference between active and passive utility, as well as performance ceilings and performance floors. Rook can help all of his teammates out to a certain extent, but the lone impact that Doc can have on the individual is greater. Rook is pretty good in ranked because of one thing. Players in ranked don't hit headshots a lot. I can guess that Habana player is pretty ticked off because with any other operator, I don't win that gunfight. In a competitive setting, shots are not a luxury, but a They're given to get to that level of play. Yep. Now, there are certainly nuts aimers out there, but having at least good aim is basically a requirement at this level of play. That entails lots and lots of headshots, and Rook armor isn't going to stop that from happening. And the armor advantage is helpful up to a certain point, and gives Rook a higher floor. A floor meaning guaranteed value. Doc's gadget, the ability to pick himself up or his teammates from far away, with no risk to himself, as well as the ability to boost the HP of his tagged teammates, is a ceiling play. Now, floor and ceiling are terms that I've noticed in terms of Rainbow Six Siege uh, not being commonly used. But for me, the comparison is most aptly made to fantasy sports. I'm going to use gridiron football as an example. You can make an educated estimate that a player can make a certain number of points based off of variables like how many attempts the quarterback has made to throw the ball towards them. How many plays is the player involved in on the field? You look at this over the course of several games, and if there's a pattern, you can make your pick. The player who had the ball thrown to them X amount of times week one, week two, week three, will probably get the ball thrown to them again in week four. They're not gonna be given the ball all the time, but they'll be given it enough to provide you with a solid foundation. I'm probably not gonna get a lot, but I know what I'm getting, and it's probably gonna be this much. Going back to Siege, I like to think of Rook's floor ceiling potential like a solid tight end, and Doc as a really good running back. If I run with this analogy too much, it'll get really convoluted, but that's a comparison that makes sense to me. We know that Rook has guaranteed value, because we know for a fact as soon as he is brought to the team, he passes out a sweater vest to his team, and everyone gets a slight armor boost. That's an example of a floor pick. The potential impact for Rook is lower than Doc, though. Doc can get picked, go for a spawn peek after stimming himself, and then die immediately. No kill. So yeah, in this situation, Rook goes for this pick instead and dies. At least he helped his team out a little bit. But in the event that Doc stims himself and he tanks a body shot or two that he wouldn't have been able to and wins the fight, then the gamble he took pays off, and he can come back to the site with one or two more stims left, then pick up a downed ally, pick himself up, whatever. Would the ally have been down with the Rook armor? Maybe, maybe not. But if a dude gets down with Rook armor and there's no Doc on the team, then the floor we have with the Rook armor is already lost. Rook can help his whole team tank a shot or two, maybe. Doc can pick himself up from down but not out, as well as two additional teammates, or fully stim a guy that already took some shots. His impact throughout the course of the round has the potential to be higher than Rook's, even if it's not guaranteed to be so. Higher ceiling with a bit lower of a performance floor. And even then, that floor is debatably still higher because the advantage you incur with a doc on your team is a bit more impactful the higher the skill level of the opponents that you play. Another thing to consider is that doc can take more fights than Rook even if he only takes body shots and doesn't get headshot. The stairs. Got IQ spiral. Maybe I'd be in the 30s health-wise with Rook armor during that spiral fight. But with the stem, I'm able to get back to about three quarters left. I use my last stem to get to 100% health when I realize we're about to get into another gunfight, and then I take even more shots, I get down to 7 health. If I was Rook, I'd be dead. I wouldn't have been able to get that last pick there. I personally prefer playing Rook over Doc because I'm a bot and I like face checking stuff. I also like the idea that I help my team even if I get slammed by a Zofia wide swinging me faster than the speed of light and I don't get any picks. And King George, who's miles beyond my skill level, likes playing Rook more than any other operator on defense. So at the end of the day, in ranked, 
opportunity. None of this really matters. It all comes down to personal preference until you get to comp. And then, well, you don't really get a choice because that's up to the coach. But what do you guys think of my floor and ceiling comparison? Did it make sense to you? Let me know how much it didn't make sense in the comments and subscribe to the Disrupt Gaming YouTube channel for more operator comparisons like this. Let me know what operators you want me to compare and maybe we can do a video about those too. Thanks for watching so much. Deuces. <laughs>